hey guys welcome into another tutorial and in today's video we're going to take a tour and we're going to review Parat OS so let's get started so by default as you can see everything looks quite similar to these other distros and also to be specific I would say Kali Linux as well they have similar features okay so the first thing that you would notice is you've got two bars you've got this taskbar at the bottom and you've got one at the top as you can see so here as usual you can check the type of connection that you're using so i'm connected via a wired connection which is ethernet i'm not connected to any vpn you can check your time there and you've got your audio right there as well so then also you've got these icons where i can click and then as you can see i can see my processor which is in use my processor in use and then i can see from here my memory as well just by hovering on the actual section of the screen the same thing as my network i can see which is one of the cool things of which on some of the desktop environment in Kali you have some you don't have okay then also under the applications tab here it also gives you a breakdown of all the sections of the operating system which is office you can see all the office stuff that you need then you've got internet which is you've got your firefox and the like you've got top browser as you can see you've got ssh vnc viewer of which that's also nice if you have an online server that you uh, usually monitor or usually connect to then also under pen test you also get a nice breakdown or in categories of all the tools that you need to use in pen test okay then it gives you you know a quick breakdown of everything and the tools that it has same thing here as you can see if you click on your menu and you're busy scrolling looking for settings here you won't see it but what you're going to see here is this called control center so control center is the same thing as settings so this is where you find all your settings for your system so here you can find your display settings so from here i can configure whatever i want so at the moment is the resolution is 1080 and the refresh rate is that i can change whatever settings that apply to the screen i'll close this then also mouse activities i can change from there as well users and groups i can also log in i can also change any information right here so as you can see it content is the only user at the moment i can add another user from here as well which is a very cool thing as well then i'll close this we're not going to go in detail for that you can configure your firewall and in terms of appearance here you can configure your whole entire desktop so as you can see the preferences for appearance is here so i can choose now as you can see how i want most of my stuff to be so i can choose it to be in dark mode of which we want dark mode okay so we can still customize you can choose what air whichever you prefer there then we've got this mat tricks so now from here now if i open this you will see we've got all these settings that we can apply to our screen so i can remove the trash or i can leave it mounted discs will show here so meaning if you have a flash drive connected it will show here if you want it to show there then you leave this otherwise you can untick it if you don't want any mounted disk to show up on your desktop okay then if you want to remove completely all the desktop icons you can just untick that then all your desktop icons will be out under panel as you can see under our panel as we can we are using genome r2 let's if we change it to fedora press ok if we change it like that as you can see under the fedora uh, panel you can see we don't we no longer have that bottom panel at the bottom here and everything is set at the top as you can see so i've got my my virtual workspaces as you can see this in windows you'd call maybe virtual desktops so these are the workspaces that i have i can switch between all of them but just by clicking as you can see it looks like a different screen but once i click on that i can go back to whatever i was doing so that's what you can do and you've seen you've got these three options of which i'm also not going to go in details but you can play with these settings as well then show places i can 
do this or I can remove so this is up to you as you can see show places is that so that is the icon there or the tab the section of the screen that we're removing so I can remove that since I don't need it okay show system I can also remove if I don't want that I can only leave applications which is good enough for me then also under the windows so now from the windows here this is where we can do some cool stuff if you're coming from a windows or any other type of operating system apart from mac you realize that your controls are on your right not on the left but if you're a mac user and you prefer your menu icons these to be on your left you can just click that and as usual they will go back to their original position so by default Parrot OS comes with them on the left so it's up to you to play with these settings to just make sure they are up to your own specifications and requirements so for now I will leave it the way it is and I will close so I'm happy with the settings that we've put across just now okay so that was under this section of the settings as well so file management we can go through that and also you've got startup applications we can click and you can also add whatever startup application you want to add you can also add a custom uh, application let's say for example you want to run a bash file at the point of booting the system you can add that command here and direct it to the file which you want to start up so you would locate the file and put in the command you use to run the file so if it's a python uh, script you would maybe put in python3 and then the file name dot uh, py here yeah. so you would do that okay then also under preferred applications this is the same thing as default applications on windows and also on this other linux operating system is named default applications but here it said preferred applic applications which is the same thing so here i can choose which web browser i want if you have chrome installed you would select chrome from here then under your mail lender here you can also choose whichever one you have installed at the moment i don't have anything that's why it's not showing anything and then here under instant messenger i can choose whatever i want here based on whatever i've installed on my preferences as well under multimedia as usual we can leave voc which is a very good player we can leave that then under images we can choose as well what you want to use from here i'll leave it under the default same thing under system what do you want this is our text editor we can use vim as our text editor if you want to or we can use vs audio like that so here you have top options you can use based on your preferences and then under terminal i can leave the same one which is fine i don't need to run as root or anything you want it to be under the standard one then you can go through all these office you can go through all these settings to just figure out what is your own preference there under admin so you can also go through all these sections one by one as you can see with admin hardware internet looks personal as you can see so you, we can choose under admin these are the admin that's the admin section login window so here you have to log in first that's why it's an admin section so once you've authenticated now if you click you'll get that part of the settings then meaning we can change what's the background when it's uh, opening so you've got these options as you can see i can open that okay that's the one i want then also background color you can choose so this is when the actual uh, logging in process is starting so here you can choose the theme you want to use so I'll leave it the way it is icons you can choose again maybe genome icons that's what i want to use that as well so here you can Play with the settings as well users you can set it to manual login or you can set it to auto login you know all those things you can set so here under auto login you can put the name of the user who you want to, when they open the operating system to auto log them in and then here you can add the delay so in, for example i can put my user there then 
I can set a delay maybe of two seconds for it to auto login for me. So that's how you do it. And then also, as we said, under hardware, you can configure your network from here. So you can click on your wired network, for example, and then you can click on settings. Then from here now you can play with all the settings, set, and set a static IP if you wish to. All these things you have access to. IPv4, you can check others. So it's right now it's set to auto DHCP. So if I change it and I put it to manual, it will allow me to add my own IP, subnet, uh, gateway, all those types of stuff. So that's just a quick overview from what we've seen as you can see it's kind of a bit of straightforward and also even if you have not used Parrot OS before this shouldn't be too hard so this read me we can remove okay so now if I right click here I can say organize it will organize my desktop even if the files were right left I can also right click and say change desktop background which is one of the cool things about almost all these Linux distros it's very easy to change the background image so this is just been a quick tutorial on Parrot OS so if you want more or if you wish to know more about Linux and all these Linux distros and also Windows tutorials please consider subscribing to my channel and also hitting notifications so that you don't miss any time I release a new video and also you can check out one of the comparisons I've done between Kali Linux and Parrot OS and see which one suits you. See you in the next video.